Hi there folks, today's video is a mix of pieces I shot yesterday during the day because I was out of the toddler and also working on the concrete prep so I only came in at random times and uh, I got to see the progress of uh, what it was made by my wife and uh, my mother in separated steps originally I wanted to show you start to finish Christmas Stollen which is a type of traditional German pastry a sweet bread of sorts with fruits and nuts we do that every year for various reasons which i'm going to talk about uh, in another clip because it's a different story but um, the main idea is to have a number of those uh, christmas stolen sweet breads to use as handmade homemade gifts for close friends and relatives instead of some generic uh, store-bought junk However, my daily tasks came in the way, so I wasn't able to shoot the whole thing. So, uh, yeah, maybe the wife will make another batch uh, for the people we meet after the Christmas day. And I'll see if I'm able to show you the whole recipe. But at least I managed to take a few clips of the prep which goes into making the stolen. The first part is making the homemade homemade marzipan. If you don't know what a marzipan is, it's a very delicious almonds and sugar paste or a type of sticky dough which is great to eat as a dessert on its own but uh, it's also an amazing feeling for any type of sweet pastry. And the other thing is the uh, citrus zest which uh, we do in a type of candied version. So first you start with your almonds. We used about 200 grams of almonds, which my mother brought from their place uh, back at the seaside. Those uh, almonds are covered in a pot with a boiling water and then kept covered for half an hour so the water cools down. That makes it very easy to peel the almonds from the skins. While waiting, you peel a few lemons and oranges, of course organic and untreated, uh, getting just the very top part of the skin. And then you cut those uh, pieces which you peeled, you cut them in very fine strips. The idea is to get a large surface area while retaining some structure. So it's better to cut them in fine strips than to just blend them into a pulp. All those uh, zest pieces are put in boiling sugar syrup made of two parts sugar and one part water and then you let those cool off as well and in the process you infuse the syrup with the aroma of the citrus and the citrus peels lose their bitterness and become like candied. While that is done the almonds are ready and it's very easy to peel them by just squeezing them between your fingers they just slip right out of their skins. Drain the water and peel the almonds and you're ready to make the marzipan. Making marzipan is very quick and very easy. You need one part peeled almonds and one part powdered sugar. Add to that a spoonful of the sugar syrup from the citrus zest. It does not need more liquid than that and it also uh, imparts a nice flavor to the marzipan. Mix almonds and sugar in a simple kitchen blender or chopper or a food processor which has blades and start spinning it until the blades powder the almonds and mix it with the sugar to form, to form a type of sticky sugary paste like a thick dough. You then take the dough out and work it a bit with your, with your hands to make it like uh, in a solid firm shape and you can store that in the fridge. In our case, we did two runs. One of them was with granulated sugar instead of powdered sugar. And that makes a more coarse version of marzipan, not so sticky and smooth. And you can also run the coarse marzipan a second time in the blender and make it smoother, of course. At uh, some point after that, I went upstairs to put the kids to bed. And then the wife did the whole stolen dough mixing and set it to proof, so I wasn't able to shoot that. And then on the next day, 
she shaped and started baking again before I managed to set the camera up. And finally, when the stolen was ready, she packaged it and gift wrapped it so quickly that I couldn't even take a peek at it. So I am leaving you with a photo of the stolen just being put in the oven to bake with the hope that uh, I'll be able to show you more of the progress in the coming days. At least I managed to show the marzipan part. So that was all for today. Tomorrow we are cooking our simple Christmas Eve dinner and on the next day we are serving uh, lunch to eight adults plus uh, a bunch of kids. So I'll try to do at least some coverage on both of those events. And I'll see you then.